Hey guys, <clears throat> let's get this shit done. All right, I don't know what I'm gonna call this. Maybe like, what if Deku was like the personification of fire? Or like, that's the only name I can think of. So sorry if the title is wonky, but basically we're gonna do a what if, if uh, what if Deku had a fire quirk basically, but I don't wanna do that because I've already done like two different videos upon this. Um, and so, this one's going to be different, okay? We're going to have your boy Deck, right? He's going to have a dream. One of these dreams he always had when he was younger. And this is going to be about when he's four, okay? And so what happens, right, is he's sleeping, having a good dream, and then he sees, like, this silhouette. And he doesn't know what it is, man, and it's always, he's always fighting the silhouette. It's almost like he's like a knight or something. He's told his mom about this dream numerous of time. And let me take a quick sip of water. Hold up. So he's trying to figure out what's going on. But in the dream, he knows what's going on. Like he's fighting this dude, right? Throwing some quality hands. And we could say it's more like a silhouette of a dragon, but I don't want to just say it's a dragon. Don't want to get you all the wrong impression. Deku don't know what to do. He fighting this thing. He good hands. He got a sword and shield. Good hands. Good hands. The sword gets knocked away. So he got to like Captain America. Just weave, 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 weave. Uppercut, uppercut. But always, and I mean always, he always loses in this dream. And so he puts the shield up and this entity just starts breathing, expelling heat and also exuding flames out of its mouth. Just boiling heat, just who everywhere, right? He's got a shield, he's got a shield. And then all they on all you hear is You're not strong enough. So perish once again. And the second this happened, Deku springs up like a fucking spring, okay? And he pops out of his bag, like boom. But the second he does this, he feels his body converse. He can just feel like he's burning and burning and then and then and then and then boom. Bus. And then flames everywhere. But before the flames get out too rowdy, Deku somehow just has his unusual grit to him and says, No. <clears throat> and he conquers the flames immediately. You may forsake me in my dreams, but in reality, this will not be the case. And then Deku wakes up the next day. And yeah, school happens per usual. He says nothing about his quirk. Even when people are like, oh, he's quirkless or is quirkless. Yeah, he says nothing. He does not care. Second school in, he's asked his mom if it's okay if he goes play in the park by himself, right? And so he goes out to play, but then he sees Bakugo bullying on some kids. And he's like, Bakugo. Now his voice isn't this deep, but I'm trying to emphasize on the authority that he's emphasizing when he's talking to his peers. He's like, Bakugo, stop. And Bakugo looks over, what are you going to do about it? And then before this dude could say it, he swears. And I mean, he swears he saw a dragon when Deku was looking at him with like the most furious heat. Bakugo, not wanting to admit that he was terrified, leaves the kid alone and he looks down. Deku looks down and walks over to the kid, looks at him. And then he like gets real close and whispers. <clears throat> Those do that not. Oh, sorry, I messed it up. <clears throat> Those that do not have burning passion don't deserve to live. I should extinguish, but not everybody's flames are strong. And then Deku walks away from the kid. And then so we can have, you know, some mini flash, like, you know, a little, little time skip. So Deku's about seven and he's training his abilities up real nicely, getting them nice and going. And he's got a very good comprehension of how he likes it. So I, I want to make this one where he like he meets people and like he talks to people, but I don't really see this version of Deku doing that. So we're going to have to do another time skip and just say we're, we're around when the sludge villain pulls up and stuff like that. Right. And like pretty much people try to bully him because they swear he's quirkless, but like they don't know for sure. Just anytime someone does try to mess with him. 
they immediately start sweating and they don't know why. And everyone's like, maybe it's because of his quirk. Maybe it's because of his quirk. And so, yeah. Now, when they're talking about the going to UA and then this, this, and that, they're like, oh, Bakugo and Deku. And, well, Maduri, right? And instead of people laughing, everyone is silent out of respect because they don't want to fuck with Deku. And he's just looking at him like, interesting. Bakugo tries to, like, get up and say something, and then Deku said with the swiftness, if you come any closer, you will be sent to a hospital. And then once again, that image, just that image of a dragon skip staring him down and the reason i'm using dragon is maybe that might be what i titled it but what i'm using the dragon is just because like that's like an emphasis of power but his flames won't be just limited to that but that's just one of the images for right now if you come any closer depth awaits and baga goes like well whatever whatever freak and 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 and, and, and then you know they have a normal type of thing but no one gets bullied or anything like that so, Deku decides, you know what? I don't feel like dealing with y'all niggas. I'm gonna walk somewhere else. Sludge villain pulls up. The second the sludge villain comes out of the sewer, Deku turns to Roy and just looks at him. And then once again, that silhouette, that dragon just there. Just but Deku's just looking at him with like a mean, fiery glare and says, Die. And then, boom. Burst of flames, heat, and everything. Just going and going and going. And this just sludge is just like getting burnt to crisp. And just, he's like, ah. But then, Deku realized something. Someone's coming. And then he like basically like burns this dude away. Like burns, extinguish the flames. And then when All Might appears, um, the sludge villain's like, Take me to, basically, take me to jail. I don't care. Take me to jail. I'll do whatever. Just get me away from this monster. All Might's all confused. All Might's like, Deku's like, mm, I could use that autograph for some money. Yeah, that'd work. So, anyways. um, So, that happens. And then Deku does tag along in this canon. Finds out about All Might's secret. But the only reason is he asks, what it doesn't mean to be a hero. And this, this, and that, this, this, and that. And then, you know, All Might's going to be curious, you know, since you know my secret, do you think it really would be that big of a deal for me to know, you know, what your quirk is? And under the pretense that, you know, he was kind of like dodging the question, he's like, sure. He just, he said, how much do you want to know? He's like, well, as uh, much as you're willing to tell me. He's like, you might want to stand back then. Now, bro. And then heat, you know, come bursting out of him ever so slowly. Just this is my power. Absolute flames. And then all my was like, whoa, your flames might even be hotter than Endeavor. And Deku wouldn't serious glare. They are. And then he, you know, turns down the heat, turns down the heat. And he was like, okay. And he was like, wait. Then why did you not take care of that slug bullet when you have the chance? Him, who said I didn't. Don't you remember what he just said? As Deck was standing on like the tippy top of the roof, looking back at All Might. And All Might was like, oh, what did you do to him? That's not really important. But All Might, be careful. If you, it, what do he say? He says some shit like, be careful if you hold a secret. Basically, just like, I don't know how to word it, but he had in the, you know, keeping the injury a secret might be your downfall. It's kind of something like what he said. And then he fell. All Might does the walk. Long story short, Bakugo. And, you know, the, the reason this is happening is because all these heroes are being bitches. Deku pulls up. With all the aggression and confidence in the world, move mortals. He doesn't have a God complex. Move. Individuals that don't have 
have that burning passion, you don't deserve to breathe the same air as me. Now be silent. And then he meets, you know, he emits like a massive heat wave. And it's almost like Conqueror's Hockey, but instead of Conqueror's Hockey, it's almost, it's really just a heat wave. And so he does that and pretty much everybody we could will got knocked out right and you know the only ones that are still standing are the pro heroes and then he pulls up he he cocks his head up into the sky and he says oh flames oh flames that burn so deep oh flames oh flames now consume me no no i think it would be oh flames oh flames it's some some to that effect i don't know some cool all right, he hits that hole, and then the flames just seek, they stop, almost like they're standing up at attention. He's like, now come. And then the flames pull up, and then, like, he grabs that, and he's like, nice. These are some quality flames. He looks at Bakugo. Kachan, I knew you were strong, but this is almost impressive. And then he's like, hey, sludge villain. He takes something that was covering his face, sludge villain. Realizing who it is, him, I told you, if we met again, I was going to incinerate you. And then before anyone can blink, boom, almost like a massive heat wave, almost burning. Somehow, it was so hot that you could literally feel your soul being vaporized, or your soul boiling. But... But yet, no, nobody, no, none of the civilians will get injured. Hell, even Bakugo made it out alive. So as Deku slowly creeps and creeps upon the sludge villain, looks down upon him with the flame red eyes. What's wrong, buddy? I thought you was going to take over that kid, huh? Let me guess. As Deku gets closer and closer, and each time he gets closer, the heat grows and grows. As you can feel the fucking ground melting. As you can see the sludge villain sizzling. And he looks dead into the soul of the sludge villain and be like, Buddy, what's wrong? Have you never seen a little light? And the second Deku said that, boom, boom, more flames, more flames just being admitted it almost looks like it's just a wild animal or a, a feral beast just eviscerating this dude and the sludge villain is screaming for help and screaming for help and screaming and screaming and Deku said that's enough now be silenced by the flash and then boom one last stroke of flames and the sludge villain's out cold all that remains is a tiny little puddle Deku using, uh, um, 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 what's it called? Was it pyrokinesis? I think it is. Not fire telekinesis, goddammit. So he uses that, grabs a bottle, and then, like, presses onto it a little bit. The sludge villain would always feel hot now, no matter what he does. And then he chucks it. <laughs> he chucks it over to one of the pro heroes and then walks away. Everyone's like, wow, uh, that's a cool quirk you got. Deku flares his heat. Don't stand in my presence. Looking, looking dead at him. Despite you being heroes, regardless of your quirk wasn't fitted for this. The fact that you didn't want to stand and fight means you have no fire will. Or will of fire. I don't tolerate what weak looks. And then he, you know, he continues on stepping. He continues on stepping because All Might was originally going to come through. And then Deku leaves. And now I would say All Might, you know, tries to pull up on him. Bakugo is immensely shocked. But that's enough for this one episode. See you on the next one.